Welcome to the Independent Joe Show. Today, I'm going to show how you, the people of California's 10th Congressional District, will be front and center in this revolutionary new podcast. There's never been anything like it in the history of US politics. Welcome to the very first episode of the Independent Joe Show. I'm Joe Sweeney, and I'm running for the US House of Representatives here in California's 10th Congressional District. This is the district that includes part of Contra Costa and Alameda County and stretches from Dublin, California, up to Martinez and from Orinda over to Brentwood. Today, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to the Independent Joe show, how it's going to be structured and what my goals are for the show. To start, the show is going to have three main types of episodes, street interviews, sit down interviews and episodes where I talk about the issues. The street interviews will be me going around the district talking to people in person about the issues. So if you see a guy wearing a red and blue cuff shirt, uh, feel free to come over and say hi or run away, whichever one you prefer, no pressure. Uh, but in my opinion, there's no better way for me to get to know the people of the district and for all of us in the district to get to know others in the district than by talking to them in person and hearing about what they feel is important and what they're worried about here in the district at a local level at a national level and at an international level. The sit down interviews will usually be me here in the studio with a community leader like a mayor or a police chief or the leader of a club group or organization. So it could be a church leader or an environmental club or a sports league. And we'll be sitting down here and having a longer form discussion about what the organization does, uh, who's part of the organization. Maybe it's trying to help a certain group of people in our district or solve a certain problem, or maybe it's just a recreational club for people to get together and have fun. We're going to have long form discussions with the leaders of all kinds of different groups here in our district. The issues episodes will usually be me sitting down here in the studio discussing the issues that you care about in depth, and I'm going to hit them head on. I'm not going to avoid difficult issues because I'm worried about offending people or because I'm worried about losing votes, which is what most representatives do. They just refuse to address important issues, the issues that people care the most about. You deserve to know how I approach problems and to challenge me and to share your ideas with me because I'm here to represent you. But I also think you'll see that how I approach issues is much different than your off the shelf Democrat or Republican because I'm not beholden to the position of a party, which is beholden to their donors. I'm working for everyone here in the district. I'm not just going to parrot talking points of party leadership. My job is to find solutions that will actually move our district and our country forward. And that's what I plan to do when I discuss the issues. So those are the three types of episodes that you'll see here to start. I have a couple of ideas for um, a couple of other types of episodes that I will probably end up adding as well. But if you have any other ideas, please let me know because I'm open to them. No other political candidate has hosted a show like this um, ever before, and there are a few reasons why I'm doing that. First, I'm putting the people of our district at the center of my campaign. It's called the U.S. House of Representatives for a reason. It's because the members of Congress are supposed to represent the people in their district, and not just the Democrats, not just the Republicans, but everyone in the district. And the only way I can do that is by hearing what you have to say. I'll be putting you and your thoughts and ideas front and center. You're going to see and hear firsthand what thousands of other people in this district think and feel about the issues in their future. These are your neighbors. They're the people you walk by in the aisle at the grocery store, the people you stand in line behind at the coffee shop. They're the parents of your son or daughter's classmates. They're the people you're sitting next to at your local restaurant or cafe. You're going to get to know them and I'm going to get to know you. 90% of Americans feel that their voices are not being heard by their representatives in Congress. They feel that they're working for the special interests. And you're right. Your representatives will only pay attention to you if things get so bad or their corruption is so in your face that the voters start to turn on them. Then they'll throw you a bone to try to keep you off their back so they can go back to Washington DC during the week and keep doing what they're doing. Democrat and Republican politicians work by telling 
you where they stand on issues, which is really where their party stands on issues, which is really where their donors stand on issues. They don't want you to know that, but that's what how it actually works. And then they spend all of their time trying to convince you that that position is the correct one. And if that doesn't work, then they deceive you and they lie to you and hope that you're not gonna pay enough attention to what they do back in Washington. I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to listen to you. And when I feel like I've spoken to enough people in the district with enough different viewpoints and have enough information on an important issue, then I will sit down and host an episode where I talk about that issue. And I might bring in some experts from here in the district that can help me sort through some of these complicated issues so that we can move forward to solutions instead of just taking sides. I know it sounds totally crazy that I'm actually going to represent people in the House of Representatives, but call me crazy. That's what I'm going to do. The second reason I'm starting this podcast is to have a place to talk in depth about the issues and how to solve problems. Issues are never black and white, and any politician who tells you they are is lying to you and trying to manipulate you. There are details, nuances, and exceptions to every issue, and it's the job of our representatives in Congress to sort out all of these complicated details and find ground that moves our district, that moves our country forward. When I talk about the issues, I'm going to bring in all the important aspects that I'm aware of, because only when you have the whole picture can you begin to come up with a solution that will move us in the right direction. My education and background is in math and science. In undergrad, I studied biochemistry and mathematics. Then I went to grad school at UC Berkeley and was in their chemistry program. And I studied weird things like quantum mechanics and statistical thermodynamics and nonlinear laser spectroscopy. I'm telling you this because I'm going to approach everything from the facts, the evidence, and the empirical data. Because only when you have those in front of you can you actually begin to reason and figure out where the best path forward is going to be, the one that will produce the best outcomes and minimize unintended consequences. Most of the news we watch today does the exact opposite. They start out with a prepackaged conclusion, they work backwards to the argument, and then they work backwards to a few facts or evidence that supposedly supports all of that. The Independent Joe Show is not going to propagate that kind of a garbage analysis. It's a show dedicated to critical, careful thought and to arriving at the best, most reasoned positions that we can for the most people involved. And finally, the third reason I've created this podcast is to build more community here in our district. Every year we're becoming more isolated, more disconnected, lonelier, we have fewer friends, we have fewer in-person interactions, we do fewer things out in the community. And COVID certainly did not help that. It accelerated the decline of our mental health. Human beings need friends and community to stay healthy. That's how we evolved. We need a group of people to hang out with, we need friends to talk to, and when we don't have those, we decline very rapidly. We're losing all of this because we're replacing in-person interactions with our phones. And that's probably what you're watching this podcast on. But it's my hope that on your phone, you'll watch one of the episodes where we have a sit-down interview with a leader in the community of some organization or group or club. And you'll think, hey, that sounds really cool. I like that person's vibe. Their organization sounds like it does fun things or would be rewarding or fulfilling to me. And maybe I can put a few hours of my social media scrolling to the side on a Saturday or Sunday and join that group of people in person. And I might actually feel better about myself and my day when I do that. And I also think that in order to build community, you need to be aware of how others around you think and feel, especially those with different viewpoints from your own because we're in this bubble where the political parties and the news machines that back them and the social media algorithms that propagate those news machines are isolating and polarizing us and dividing us constantly. And only when you meet people in person and have in-depth discussions, do you realize that you're actually not as different as you seem. They're trying to convince you that you have to take either the Democrat side 
or the Republican side on an issue and that anyone who is not on your side is either stupid or misinformed or just an awful person. And that's simply not true. I'm going to use this podcast to bring us back together, to tear down these artificial barriers that they're trying to use to divide us and to show that everyone around you, for the most part, thinks the same way, they see and feel the same things, and they have many of the same worries that all of us do. And we're going to find that common ground and rebuild our community from there. So maybe I'm naive to think that a podcast can do all of this. Maybe I'm naive to think that this district can be the catalyst that breaks apart the two-party system and puts our country back on the right track. But that's exactly what I believe, and I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen, and I hope you'll help. Hey, it's Independent Joe again. Thank you for sticking around. If you're interested in doing a street interview with me, or you're the leader of a cool club, group, organization, or a community leader uh, here in the district, then reach out to me on the website on the homepage. I will put up a little form that you can fill out uh, if you want to meet, and I'll reach out to you and try to set something up. And also, to celebrate the first episode of the Independent Joe Show, and for sticking around this long, I have the first merchandise of the campaign here. It's a mug that says, I used to be a party animal, now I'm an independent voter. And to the first 10 people from outside of the district, and to the first 20 people inside the district that go onto the homepage and sign up for the Independent Joe newsletter, I will follow up and get your shipping information and I will send you one of these beautiful mugs that I designed and had made uh, for free. So thank you for sticking around and I will see you in the next episode.